social engineering is using deception, manipulation, and influence to convince a human who has access to a computer system to do something, like click on an attachment in an email. Kevin Mitnick. Internet scams skyrocketed last year, fueled by the pandemic. Obviously, that's according to a new FBI report. Facebook and Google were the victims of an elaborate $100 million cybercrime, according to a Fortune report. Look at it, I took a $100 million in my pocket, put it down, I said, that's not even, that's not even close to being a freaking currency. And so, that's what I mean. The whole thing was all a mess. What is social engineering? Adapted from Kaspersky, social engineering is a manipulation technique that takes advantage from human error to gain access to personal information or valuable data. In the world of cybercrime, this human hacking can lure the users to not suspicious and unaware. Users can easily reveal data, spread malware infections, and give access to secure systems. Generally, social engineering has two specific goals. Those are to sabotage and to steal. Since this scam is based on psychological manipulation, the attack strategy will be built around the way the victim thinks and acts. Thus, this psychological manipulation attack is very useful for tricking the victim's behavior. Because of rapid development, Many consumers and company employees are unaware of new traits, such as drive by the modes. As a result, victims lose their personal data because they don't understand how to protect themselves from these attacks. How does it work? Attackers will usually motivate victims to compromise, rather than using sophisticated methods and tools to break into their cyber security. The way it works is also very structured. According to CSO Online, the way social engineering works is as follows. First, the attackers make a strategy by gathering information about the victim's background and workplace. Second, the attacker builds victim trust through interaction. And next, the attacker will exploit victims once trust is established and their weaknesses are exposed. And the last, the attacker will end the relation after the victim takes the desired action. It's like sharing personal information or exposing malware to their device system. Beating. Beating is the most common social engineering attack. Baiting uses bait attacks in the form of false promises to provoke the victim's greed or curiosity. The attacker will lure the victim into a trap where in the future they will steal personal information or put a malware on the victim's device system. For example, attacker leaves the bait. Typically, Malware infected blast tribes in conspicuous areas where potential victims are certain to see them. Just like bathrooms, elevators, the parking lot of the targeted company. Pretexting attack. In a pretexting attack, an attacker obtains information through a series of cleverly crafted lies. These socially engineered scams are often initiated by perpetrators pretending to need sensitive information from victims to perform important tasks. For the example, is the Instagram challenge that you ask you spill your nickname, how old are you, your mother's name, then the attackers can use the data to hack your account because that kind of questions are about verification questions. Piercing 
Phishing is the most dangerous type of social engineering attack. Oftentimes, this form of deception is present in email and text message campaigns aimed at creating urgency, curiosity, or fear in the victim. Then the attacker will encourage the victim to reveal sensitive information. Click on a link to a malicious website or open an attachment that contains malware. The example is in game industry. The attacker provides a program to give your game account some reward and you require to log in into that program and then they use that to log in into your account. Features of spear pissing over the pond. The cheater's voice sounds very convincing. The kind of artist's style of speech is flexible. The intonation of fast speech seems to make you not have much time to think clearly. You are assured that the price will be sent to your account with condition that must be met, such as providing the account number or digital wallet account along with the OTP code sent via SMS on the spot. Or you will be assured that your banking data must be updated immediately, otherwise the account will be blocked. This is not true, you must understand that banks or digital wallet companies do not recommend that you share data, such as username, password, and OTP, via telephone to update personal data. 9 Tips to Avoid Being a Pitching Victims Number 1. Always update information related to pitching. Number 2. Always check who sent their email. Number 3. Don't just click on the link you receive. Number 4. Ensure the security of the website accessed. Number 5. Use the last version of browser. Number 6. Be vigilant when asked for personal data. Number 7. Check your online account regularly. Number 8. Use two-factor authentication. And the last, perform a malware scan periodically.